Hey, it's Emily, a contributing blogger at secondarysolutionsblog.com, and today I want to go over a brief tutorial for using Grammarly in the classroom to help improve students' grammar and prevent plagiarism. So there are two sides to the Grammarly website, and one is Grammarly.com, which is for bloggers and writers and all different kinds of fields, and then the other one is the Grammarly EDU site, which is for teachers and students primarily. So that's the one you're going to want to sign up for. And when you sign up for the Grammarly at EDU, you will get um, an access code to sign in as the teacher and also an, a code to give your students so that your students can sign in and you can have access to see what they've been doing on Grammarly. I actually got five access codes, one for each of my class periods so that I could keep everybody organized and I would really recommend doing that um, if you're going to use this service in a high school setting. Once students have registered the first time with the unique access code that you give them, they will just need to remember their username and password to log in subsequent times and every time they log in it'll always be associated with your access code so that you can um, check and see what they've been up to in there and, and check on them. So, a student will log in and then they'll either copy and paste their text here or they'll upload their document with this. So I'm just going to copy and paste in an essay that one of my students recently wrote. Um, and this student needed some grammar assistance, so we're going to start with start a review and then we're going to pick academic um, because we are that's the kind of writing that we're looking at here. This is an essay. And then we're going to click Start Review. And it's going to check over 250 points of grammar, more than your standard Word document grammar check. And it's going to actually give them a lot of suggestions for how to fix things. So we'll just go through a couple of things. Um, so this first correction here uh, is for the word readers, that it actually needs to be readers with an apostrophe. So it's going to, we're going to click the green and it's going to change it automatically at the top and then I'll hit next. Um, this one that doesn't change actually needs to be don't change so we can just click that and it can, oops, and we can change it here. Um, and for each one it's got a um, explanation here for why remains here should be actually remain because of the compound subject. Students can also choose to ignore any correction that doesn't sound right, or maybe that is computer error. Um, other issues, accidentally confused words. He still greets everyone. She meant to say, instead of greats, she meant to say greets. So I can click greets, and it will change that. Um, another thing that it'll look at is unclear antecedents or vocabulary usage. So it might think that you're overusing the word effective. Maybe sometimes you need to change it to efficient. Or um, you're overusing the word reflect. So maybe consider. Um, then the student can go through and read and just make sure that it all sounds the way that it should. At this point now, the student can save and print the report for the teacher. They can look at a summary of their mistakes. They can also download it so that um, they can reformat it into Word with double spacing and MLA and everything like that. Um, they can also upload it as many times as they want so that they can continue while they're working on their drafts. And on the teacher side, we can see um, how many times they've uploaded it, how many corrections they've made, what types of corrections they've made, uh, what type of plagiarism report they had, and things like that. If you have any questions, please visit us at secondarysolutionsblog.com and for more information, about Grammarly, visit Grammarly.com backslash edu. Thanks. Have a great day.